Yo, what's going on? It's Greg Santos and welcome to Outlier Circle. If this is your first time joining me here today, I help isolated outliers who lack a powerful network of mentors and peers and I help you build a world-class network so you can have seven, eight, nine-figure business owners mentoring you where you can have really successful peers, people who are on their mission and have businesses and want to travel the world and live life on their own terms and you can really live your utmost potential because the reality is is that you're only you're only one relationship away from your life changing forever now if that sounds like you if that sounds like something you want hit that subscribe button i'm gonna be dropping some more fire so make sure that you hit that notification bell so every single time I drop a super hot video, you're the first person to watch it, you can get the notification, you can watch it, take your network in your life to the next level. Now, when it comes to connecting and meeting and having mentors and having a very successful network, you gotta know how to give value. You might be in the position where you're like, I don't really know how I would give value. Maybe you know how to give value. Maybe like you wanna learn some different kind of ways to give value. Well, when it comes to having those relationships, if you just constantly take, 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 try to extract the knowledge, ask for advice, and then every single time you, you communicate, you ask for something, best believe me, that relationship is gonna die way before you know it. How do you keep that relationship alive? You gotta add value to those people. So there's three different ways to add value to people. Number one is through money, through emotions, and through connections. Those are the three ways to really those are three forms of currency, right? Again, money, emotions, connections. Now, I'm gonna talk about uh, different ways to add value that doesn't require money or connections. It requires just emotions. You ready for this? I actually do a lot of this stuff myself. Now, how do you give value to somebody? What are some good ways to give value? Well, it's very simple. You know, if you can be someone who is a positive source of emotion for somebody, that's attractive. What isn't it awesome to be around someone who is like, who's upbeat, who looks at the world from like in, in a positive lens? Like, look, I, I know I can achieve as much as I possibly can. I just have to put some work behind it, and I, I can really make this happen. I, I really believe that. Isn't that someone that you want to spend your time with? Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't you want to go on a road trip with that person who is like working hard? They they have their head on straight. They 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 smile. They speak with enthusiasm about what they're working on, isn't that infectious? It's a lot of fun, right? But how about somebody that complains? What about someone that gets, that's like, oh man, it's another day and I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and, and then my mom was complaining and my mom has been talking about this and my dad, oh my God, and then my friends and then, and then I don't even know what I wanna do and, and all this and all everything that's wrong. How draining is that? How much does that suck? Would you want to go on a road trip with that person where every single time they're like, oh, and this person, and, and then like, oh, and oh my God, and we got to stop again, and oh, I'm so hungry, and, and all this, all these different things, right? It's not fun. And if you can be a person who can provide positive emotions for somebody, man, do they appreciate that. Man, if you can make somebody laugh, you don't even have to be humorous. Like, but if you can make someone laugh, laugh laughing is actually um, something that people do when they, when they bond. You probably notice that you laugh more when you watch a movie with somebody else than you do by yourself. That's because laughter serves as a bonding mechanism. So if you can make somebody laugh, or like, you know, just being yourself, not actively trying to get a laugh out of somebody, but really just expressing yourself and you can make them laugh, oh my God, like, are you gonna have someone that wants to hang out with you in the long run? But let's say it's like you're not with that person, right? Let's say like you're not able to give positive emotions face to face like that. Well, how, how else can you give positive emotions? Well, here's a couple things that I like to do. Number one is when someone posts on their story, I'll just go in and I got this from one of my buddies, Phil Martin, you know, you can follow him on Instagram, High Vibration Hustle. He would, when I first, I, when our relationship was still in the beginning stages, he would, go through my story and he'd react to all of them. So he'd swipe up, put a laughing emoji, swipe up, put a fire emoji, swipe up, like on each different thing. So I'm like, I'm feeling like so important because like every, like he's, he's actually watching my stories. And he did that consistently for, for a while. And, and then I started doing that too. And people like that. People want to feel like they're important, that you're actually watching their stuff and they're very appreciative of that. You got to understand that successful people, doesn't matter what kind of person it is, everybody wants to feel important, 
everybody wants to feel heard. Everybody wants to be listened to. And if you can be a person that's like, oh man, that's amazing, like I got this, and like you actually are a person who listens to what they're saying, man, do they appreciate that. So that's one thing, go on Instagram, react to their stories, comment on their stories. Another thing, go on their Instagram posts, comment something, not just like, great pic or funny video. Put something thoughtful. If they put a video up, watch the video and comment on something that they said in the video and you're like, oh, this person actually took the time to watch the video and they, now they feel a connection to you. Like, oh man, like I appreciate that. Like, thank you so much. Like, I, this means a lot to me and for you to you know, absorb that, it makes me feel like the efforts that I'm putting in are really making a difference. So thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for taking the time to really show that you, you watched it. For example, I just posted a video on Instagram yesterday and sometimes I post like, you know, two and a half to three minute videos and personally, I usually don't watch videos that long. I really don't. Uh, but the people that I follow do, no, the people that follow me do. So I'm like, I don't know if they are gonna watch this, but I'll put it anyway, just in case someone does. And someone commented a quote that I said in there and I was like, oh, they watched it. Man, I appreciate that. And I felt myself getting closer to that person. Okay, that's another simple way. Here's another another way, right? Let's say you know somebody and maybe you met someone at a personal development event and like they're a really awesome person and maybe you get them on Instagram. Here's a simple thing. I got this, uh, Damon John said that Grant Cardone did this. Grant Cardone got on Instagram, put the phone up to his face. Hey man, Grant Cardone, uh, just thinking about you, Damon. Like, I hope you're doing all right, man. You're gonna have a great day today, man. Just thinking about you. Talk to you soon. Send that over to him. And Damon actually made a video about Grant Cardone and how he sent that video and, and how that made him feel. It made him feel great. Like, wow, he sent me a personalized video and he's thinking about me. Like, who does that? Like, how often do like, people just reach out just to say, I'm thinking about you, hope you're doing great, and just give you some positive emotions, make you, because the thing is, like, a lot of people, I talked about this in a, in a, in a in your previous video about the hedonistic treadmill is like, despite the success that people have, you tend to adapt and you find just like a, a new normal, right? And people are constantly looking for new colors and, and more fun and like things to, ha like, things to take people out of their day-to-day -day boredom. And if you can provide that for people and take them out of their, their, their boredom and, and give them some positive emotions, man, do they appreciate that because no matter how successful we think these people are, and we see like these people aren't just like waking up every day and, and super grateful and super happy and, and just crushing it. Like, like we see like they have their own struggles, they have their own challenges. They're a human being, they have their own certain, their own uncertainties, their own fears, their own insecurities. And if you can be a person for them where every single time you interact with them, they feel good, man, are they gonna, you know, that's gonna bring you closer to them. I heard this one quote, I, for, I don't know who said, I wish I can give them credit, but they said, I like you because who I am when I'm with you. Something like that. I like hanging out with you because of who I am when I'm around you. Isn't that powerful? Like, think about that. Like, because you are different people when you're around different people, right? You probably behave differently with your mom as you do with your mentor, right? Like, you, you're a different person. You act, but it's still you, right? There's different roles that you fill, but if you can be a person where they like the person that they are when they're with you, like where they can be themselves, they can speak their mind, they can express their ideas, they feel like they're being heard, they feel like they can be understood. Man, do you, are you gonna have a powerful connection because of that? And I want you to make this a habit. Like reach out consistently to people that are in your network, people that you follow, people that even, people that you want to meet, people you, like kind of people you wanna have connections with. Here's a, here's a little hack here. Whoever you follow on Instagram, there's someone that you, you dive a lot into their content. Like there's one person where like, this person speaks my language. And you, you listen to everything that they, they say, right? Here's what you can do. Go into the comment section of their posts and follow the people who are posting or who are commenting on their posts. Because those people, if you really like this person, they speak your language and, they, and you like what they value and their goals and how they li live life and how they carry themselves, chances are the people who are commenting, similar things, they have similar goals, they have like, they like, they, this person also speaks their language. And again, people like people who are like them. So if you can have some kind of commonality 
and like you, and the chances are you're gonna have some amazing connections through that. And then you start reacting to those people's stories, you start commenting on their posts, and you start giving value to them, and then maybe even hopping on a Zoom call with them and just seeing how you can help them out. That's an easy way to form connections with ambitious and successful people. And that's how you give value. And before you know it, you know, doors open up, opportunities open up that you would have never received if you didn't know this one person. So if you got a lot of value from this video, hit that subscribe button. Baby, I got some more fire coming your way. This is a lot. It's like a fire hose of value, baby. Let's go. So if you got some value, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time your boy drops a video. In the meantime, apply what I said, go take some action, make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.